how's it going guys? Today we're going to set up the pick kit and our pick and the whole programming interface. I think they call it serial programming. I don't know, we're not big on technical terms. Okay, first thing to note, that is one and two different rows of your breadboard. So that's put down directly down the middle. Do not put them in the same rows because that would be bad. Next thing, this thing here. Now this depression, oh, if I'm drawing all over you can't see it, but this depression here indicates where the pins are. So I'm not sure if I've shown you this, but we need to Google search our pick. So pick 16F628A and then we want the data sheet. Now with electronics data sheets are everything. Data sheets tell you everything and anything you need to know about electronics. Now when I was starting out I, I always went to a forum and I was like mm, you know how do I do this how do I do that and they're all like point me to the place in the data sheet every time it was found on the data sheet they were great they always helped me but I could have found it myself um, best thing about a data sheet is the pinout thing here I would recommend printing this out so you don't have to always look it up every time I say look it up I have to look it up because I have to show you at the same time but I do have it printed out now I'm going to be talking about um, pins and I'm going to refer them as like PGD, PGC, VDD, VSS. Uh, what these are to start with, VSS is ground. If you don't quite understand that about electricity and electronics yet, ground is the negative side of... There's two sides, you've got positive and negative it flows from positive to negative. Now if you're a science buff you know it actually doesn't but it's best to just accept that because that notation is used everywhere in electronics and I'm gonna use it although I myself do not like it. Um, so next thing to Google oh, why am I googling Google all the time? This is Google Chrome. Is the pick kit 3 and out poster yeah hopefully this is it uh, you would have got one when you bought the pack I seem to have lost mine now this shows you everything you need to know about setting this up but I'm going to go through it with you so we have memory clear VDD, VSS, PGD, PGC and we do not use the sixth one very important I spent ages trying to figure that out um, pin one indicator all very straightforward so first thing we're going to do I'm going to hide this this program is called uh, sketchbook it's awesome cost a bit though alright sorry for the blurry photo but what this is here is it's just a wee header so I can easily put my picket 3 into my board. You might, you, they're like 20 cents or something. Probably worth picking up. This here is a 5.6 ohm resistor. Now we talked about ohms last time. Um, it doesn't have to be 5.6. If you go to your, your picket 3 data sheet here, it's anywhere between 4.7 and 10,000 ohms. So, hopefully you bought some resistors and stuff. I actually forgot to mention that. But, um, yeah, get, just get a resistor pack. Get some resistors. No, maybe I did talk about it. It's your call. Okay, first step, pin 1. Memory clear. Quickly go to your thing. Memory clear. Put it in that pin, pin 4. Repeat, VDD, VSS, PGD, PGC. I'm skipping this because I'm very confident that you can figure out pin 2 and then go to your data sheet and find it on here. Just remember to note the direction. 
Um, so we have this one is connected to memory clear. Is it? One, two, three. I think it's the perspective of my photo here. This is actually in here. So pin four is there. I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's my bad. Um, so we have the resistor here, which we saw in the data sheet. Pin 2 is positive voltage, or VDD, which is going to my supply rail. Now what I've done, as you can see here, I've connected my supply rails together, because they're not connected on the breadboard. Pin 3. Uh, yep. Boom. Pin 4. Done. Yeah, that's basically it, really. So now we're all set up, ready to go. We've got our program ready to go. Um, now it's your choice. You can come on to the LCD module one if you've got an LCD, or you can you basically go to whatever tutorial you think is best for you. If you want to make a toaster that I don't know is controlled by your phone, go to the Bluetooth module one. We're not going to do that, but what we're going to learn about is the Bluetooth module itself, and then you can go and apply it to whatever situation you want. It's all about learning how to do it and then just morphing it to your own application. Alright, sorry about the boring tutorial once again guys, but hopefully we go alright next time. Cheers.